Hi guys! Long time no see. Um, that's kind of why I'm making this video. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded anything fresh uh, before uploading it. The most recent reviews that I filmed were the Odin Wave and my Aries Custom. Um, and those were all like, I filmed them, you know, a while ago and then I uploaded them one at a time. Uh, so it's been a long time since I've recorded anything and especially a long time since I've recorded any sort of like update or face-to-face -face video or haul or anything. So um, I kind of wanted to like just explain a little bit why, a little bit, um, why and then show you some stuff I picked up and some uh, things that I plan to review and all that kind of stuff, fun stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll just start with where I've been, <laughs> which is kind of pretty simple. Um, I mean, so usually in the past, you know, I've been doing this channel for, what is it, like two and a half years now? Um, and I've worked full time almost the entire length of it. I think I was in, still in college when I started my channel. But anyway, um, so I work full time. And then what I did is I filmed my videos, like, you know, in my spare time after work and stuff. Um, but now I'm actually involved with a company called Comic Blitz. Um, you can check out the website at www.comicblitz.com and I totally recommend you do because it's really going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interning with them, I guess you could say, and um, what it is is it's, it's going to be an app that should be released later this year. We don't have like a set date or anything yet, but um, it's basically going to be like the Netflix of comic books. So like if you read digital comic books, if you're into like comicsology or um, especially if you like are familiar with Marvel Unlimited, it's basically going to be like that but for multiple publishers. So uh, it's going to be like a set price per month and then you get to read as many digital comics as you want for that price. So it's it's um, it's going to be really, really cool and it's been really fun to, to work with them. But what happens is I, is I come home from my full time job and then I do that afterwards and I have less time now to film videos which is, you know, it's rewarding to be doing that kind of work, um, but I do, do miss filming for you guys. So I I wanted to just let you know that's kind of like what I've been up to and I've been having a blast doing it and the, the guys, like the team is really cool and the product is going to be really cool. So um, if you read comics digitally and you're, you know, you're looking for something that if that sounds appealing to you I mean that's literally like the quickest way to sell it is the Netflix of comics like you know set price unlimited reading after that boom if you're interested check out the website um, I don't we have beta testing going on right now I'm not sure if it's still open or if we closed it for now but it should be launching later this year and there's gonna be like you know like you get a, a free like trial at the beginning to see if you like it so um, check it out I'm not trying to like you know be like promote and weird but um, you know, I don't get anything out of it. I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I've been up to and where, you know, what I, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of actually like related. It's, you know, comic book related and, and my channel is, you know, uh, comics and action figures and all that stuff. So it's actually really cool to be working in that like field um, instead of, you know, my, my day job is uh, with pharmaceuticals with skincare. So, <laughs> um, and if you're unaware, I am a graphic designer and that's what I do full time and that's what I am doing with comic book. So yeah it's fun to be doing it with comic related stuff and not just skincare all day. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to and I like I can't tell you a ton about it, but if I if and when I can tell you more, I will. And you know, maybe if you want to know when it's launching, I can just let you know in like a video in the future. Um, but yeah, I can't like go into details about it. So yeah, you can Google search it too. We've had some like articles recently that tell you a little more information. So anyway, um, so let me show you some stuff that I have picked up. I don't even know where to start. Um, I guess I'll just show you. I don't know. I'll just start somewhere. Um, so yeah, I may have been slacking on my reviews, but I've still been buying action figures as usual. Mostly Marvel stuff because there's been a lot of good Legends things coming out um, in a, and not just like regular waves but the exclusives and the like um, five packs and stuff like that. So um, I'll start with a few little guys. Um, I just have like one box sitting here but um, I picked up some of the Ant-Man wave. 
I got Wasp as a birthday present from Todd. My birthday was last week. Yeah, last Friday. So I got a few things in the, here that were for, were for my birthday, so I'll show you those. Uh, this was one of them. I got Wasp. She's really cool. Um, you know, again, I'll review these in the future. I bought the Ant-Man myself. Um, I'm not going to show you like boxes and figures for everything. You, you guys know what it all looks like. So I got the Ant-Man from this wave because, and it's funny because I wasn't planning on buying it at all, but, you know, I saw Ant-Man. Um, I saw it like the Tuesday before it came out in theaters because I, I got um, to go to a screening and I just I loved it it was it was it's probably my favorite solo Marvel film and that's I mean that's something saying something uh, I don't even really know what it would have been before that because I, I like right now I think my favorite Marvel films are Guardians of the Galaxy Avengers and then Ant-Man I think that would be it I, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was way better like than anybody expected, and I think a lot of other people agree. So, I as much as I wasn't planning to buy movie figures, because you guys know I, I don't really love to collect the movie figures, um, what actually did it for me was the Marvel Universe Ant-Man and Antony pack, with the big ant, and then he's the little Ant-Man that can fly on it. I have that over there. Um, I picked that up first, because I got it... Um, like very shortly after I saw the film, Amazon had their like Prime Day, which was like uh, their uh, version of Black Friday, and they had uh, it was like an extra fifteen percent off warehouse deals or something like that, and they had one of those Ant Man and Anthony packs on where on the where Amazon warehouse, so it was a great deal, and I was like fine, Anthony was so cute, I gotta get it, so I got it, and then I was like, well now I have this one, I have to get the legend size one, so I did buy that one, and then I was like, I, I almost bought the select one too, I went to, uh, I went into Manhattan, uh, with Todd for, to see a play, like, two or three weeks ago, and we walked past this, the Disney store in Times Square, and I, I almost walked in, and I almost wanted to buy, like, if they had that Ant-Man, I would have bought it, but I was like, I can't, I can't keep buying Ant-Mans, I can't keep buying figures that I don't have room for, I am so out of space, it's not even funny, um, so I didn't go to the Disney store, which is a shame, because I know that figure is awesome, but, uh, for now, I only have the Legends and Universe-sized Ant-Mans from the movie, but I have both of those, and that. Oh, and I picked up Bulldozer from this wave because I needed to complete my wrecking clue. Clue? Crew. <laughs> so that's those. Uh, do I get any other individuals? Oh, oh, and the uh, Black Ant, the Walgreens exclusive Black Ant, I did manage to find that. And I can see that my camera's about to run out of space, so give me one second. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. That was poor planning on my part. I'm out of practice, as you can see, at recording. I left old recordings on my camera and I ran out of space. So I'm back. So yes, I picked up the Black Ant from Walgreens. Uh, so those are all the figures that I got from the Ant-Man wave. Um, I haven't picked up any from the Hulkbuster wave, I don't think. Um, I'm not planning on getting the Hulkbuster build a figure because I have the Marvel Select Hulkbuster that I'm very happy with. Um, I would like the Black and Gold Ant-Man. Uh, Ant-Man. Iron Man. Um, but otherwise, I think I'm good, really, with that wave. Uh, and then next, I want to get almost the entire Rhino wave, but I didn't pre-order the case because I didn't want doubles in any of them, and I didn't want, like, a couple of the figures, and I don't really need the Rhino Build-A-Figure either. Again, I'm happy with my Select Rhino, uh, especially having, like, seen people posting comparison pictures and, um, uh, reviews and stuff. So, I want to get, you know, like, Scarlet Spider, and uh, like I get, I get White Tiger, and um, who else is in the wave? I'm totally blanking. I don't know, guys, but I know I want a good chunk of that wave. So, oh, Superior Venom, yeah. So I will be picking up some stuff from that wave. Uh, but otherwise, I have picked up some more Legends recently. Um, this pack I love, I love, love, love. The Entertainment Earth exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy five pack. I was waiting for this ever since they announced it last year's San Diego Comic-Con. Um, I was afraid they were going to make it this year's Comic-Con exclusive and that it would be more expensive, um, but it wasn't. It was an Extreme and Earth exclusive, and it was a reasonably priced because there was a coupon at the time of the pre-order that took off like 20 bucks. So I think it was, 
Is it 100 even? Or 120? Either way, it was like it didn't come out to, at all to more than 20 a figure, if not less. Um, but yeah, it's it's a cool box. Comes in a white mailer first, and then you get this box, and then the figures are in. No, I know. Um, my figures are out, uh, uh, somewhere over there, and I didn't want to carry them over. But I assure you, they look awesome. They look much like they do on the back of this package. Um, the Drax is a million times better than the old Drax. Uh, every the the Rocket Raccoon is like depends on what you like. Um, what what makes me really excited is that I bought like all the right figures from the original Rocket Raccoon, we have to have extra pieces for this Rocket Raccoon. So I can take the, I have like the old Rocket Raccoon head, so I can swap out heads on this Rocket Raccoon. I have the guns, so I can be holding two guns if he wants. Um, and then, and the, yeah, I have like those just right extra pieces. And then, um, this, so, yeah, so I didn't have the original Star Wars because I didn't buy last year's San Diego Comic Con exclusive because they announced this and I, this is new with this one. I knew that this is what I wanted. I didn't have the Build-A-Figure group because I, again, was planning for this set. So it worked out perfectly for me. I got comic figures. I'm happy. Good price. Love this set. Uh, lots of accessories. I can't wait to review this for you guys. I imagine I'm going to have to do each figure as a separate review as much as I try to keep box sets together, but that one's a big one, so I might do separate reviews. Um, next, this year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. I was not planning to buy either of them. And then, the day that they were, like, coming out on Hasbro Toy Shop, um, you know, I saw a post about it in the Marvel Legends Collectors community on Facebook, and I was like, you know what, let me go look at the Ant-Man set, because it was a little cheaper, and I bought, you know, I, I really liked the movie, and I had bought, you know, the movie figures, and I, you know, was thinking maybe I'll get the giant man from, from this wave, um, I, I don't know. But I was like, so maybe I'll get it. And then, you know, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know, that book of Vishanti set looks really sweet. I didn't want to spend all that money, but I figured, why not order the two sets, see, have them come in, see what they look like in person, and then if I don't want them, most likely I can sell them, I mean, I'll have no problem selling them, you know, let alone, at regular price, let alone probably even making a little money on them, which I'm not trying to be a scalper, but, you know, whatever. Um... I ordered one of each, didn't go crazy, I just said, you know what, maybe I'll keep them, maybe I won't. Rather order them and have to sell them than want them and not having ordered, have had ordered them and then have to pay extra money. So, Ant-Man set, <laughs> uh, I actually haven't taken any of the figures out of either of these sets yet because, like I said, I have no space for anything. So... If I do take them out, they're going right back in the boxes until I eventually have my own home to store things in. <laughs> so, Ant-Man set, um, very cute with the little antenna, and uh, the figures are pretty decent. You know, I'm most excited about the Giant Man, even though it's the like reused Cyclops with the belt underneath. <sighs> That's hysterical, Hasbro, really. Um, the Goliath looks decent enough, but it's a shame that the Marvel Universe old big Goliath is so expensive now because it'd be really awesome to have the the 12 inch Goliath and then the 6 inch Giant Man and have two of each at the different sizes to look like they're shrinking and growing. Couldn't really care less about Hank, sorry Hank. Um, just in the lab coat, like I don't really like him in the lab coat. I wish they just released another, you know, like just released the original like, Ant-Man again. And then these are cute, but whatever. You gotta give us more of these Scott Langs to make it shrinking and growing. Um, so, it's a cool set, but definitely not worth more than face value. To, um, so I'm glad that, again, I'm glad that I ordered it, because if I am gonna keep these, um, I wouldn't have wanted to pay, you know, $100 for them or whatever. Um, so that's that set. And then, yeah, I ordered the Book of Vishanti, even though I don't even know who half of these characters are, or more than half. But, oh my god, if this isn't a gorgeous set, let me just pop this guy off here. It looks like a giant book, obviously, and then you open it up, and oh, you have the little, like, insert, and then you can open it all the way, and this set is just gorgeous. I mean, just like the velvet lining is really nice, the Dormammu figure is awesome, um, 
I mean, now I have to get the regular Doctor Strange, right? Why? Why do they do this? This all looks so, so good. Seriously. I, like, literally don't even know who half these characters are, but they just look so good, and the package looks so good, and the whole set. I'm happy keeping this in package until I'm ready to display them because it looks so damn good. So, yeah. Um, so that's that set. Let me just put this sleeve back on. And I think as far as recent pickups go, um, that pretty much covers it. I don't, I honestly don't remember where I, I last left off telling you guys things that I've picked up or been, um, gifted or anything like that. Like, I kind of just glanced around at my stuff and picked up what I knew I definitely got recently. Um, I don't know if I ever showed this, but I picked this up at some point for a good price to the, um, DC Collectibles New 52 bust of Nightwing. Let's see that. Um, and yeah, I'll review this as well. I know I showed, uh, I showed the robes that I picked this up a while ago, but um, I don't know if it ever made it into a video, so. I, ha I, have, I do have this, and he's been on my desk, and he's really nice. He goes for like 45 or 50 retail or something, but I, I got, um, I at some point got like a $25 credit from eBay for, it was like a promotion they were doing, like sell an item on eBay that's worth more than, $25 and get a $25 credit or something like that. So I did that, I sold an item, and then boom, I got the credit, and I was like, what, what do I want to buy with it? And at the time, there wasn't much coming out or anything, so I bought uh, the Nightwing, and so I got him for, you know, like 20, 20 or 25 bucks after the coupon was applied, so really good price for a bust. Um, yes, so, whew, doing a lot of talking. So, <laughs> um, what else? Okay, I think that's it for figures, so I'll just show you a couple of other things that I have, or whatever. Um, okay, Top got me this awesome sweatshirt for my birthday. And I just have to show you this. So, it is a Nightwing sweatshirt. And you have the, it's the old school blue Nightwing, can you see that? Yeah. And uh, it has the symbol on the chest. And then all it goes all the way down the sleeves, and then you have blue cuffs on the sleeve, which I look, think looks really cool, even though it's not necessarily, you know, cool, right, accurate. And then you, since the hoodie, uh, you do have a hood, and it's blue inside the hood, which is really cool, even though you know, Nightwing doesn't have a hood. But if he did, I bet you it would be blue inside because blue inside looks really cool. But yeah, I think this is an awesome hoodie. I had it on my wish list from. It's actually from Hot Topic. Um, who is starting to have some really cool stuff, and I'm actually going to show you something else that I got from Hot Topic that I like a lot. Um, I think it was like 45 or something, which is actually not bad because your options for hoodies like these are either this, say for example you want this, like a Nightwing hoodie. You can get this one for like $45 from Hot Topic. Um, you can get a red Nightwing hoodie from China, from eBay, for like they're 25, 30, but China's risky. You always have to order like two sizes bigger than you're expecting because they they have China sizes which are smaller, and um, the quality is can be hit or miss. And um, I think I, Jason um, Chapman Films ordered, I think he ordered the Red Nightwing one, and I know he got ended up getting the wrong size, but I think he said the quality was pretty good. So, you know that's for, that's pretty decent. But they don't have the blue one. And then there's like um, what are they called? Coyote Pop. Coyote Pop on, I don't know if you've ever, if you're familiar with them on Facebook or Etsy, um, they sell their hoodies for like, it's like $80 or something like that. I bought a spider Gwen hoodie from them because I was super excited at the time and like I couldn't contain myself when I just had to get it. Unfortunately, it came in and it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be and I don't, I don't, I barely wear it because I don't want to look like big and like, my sweatshirt to be like big and blah blah blah. So, I really haven't worn it that often, which is a shame. Um, so I really like this like middle ground. It's like a little pricey, but it's not super expensive, and it's pretty nice. It's um it's actually quite warm, and it's not it doesn't feel super heavy, but it's quite warm. Um, the only thing that like maybe bother might bother some people, which it doesn't really bother me, is the blue on the chest is printed on. It's like a it's like you know it feels like it's been painted on. It's it's a printing, and then the blue on the sleeve is sewn on. This is a fabric, so 
they're, they're different materials when they meet like at the shoulder, but as you can see, the color is not is super well matched. So it doesn't bother me. Like if they were totally different colors, it would look really bad, but they, they were matched them really well. So I really like that hoodie. They also have um, a few others. They have like a Superboy hoodie that I really like, um, that I might get in the future because additionally, in addition to having cool stuff, if you sign up for Hot Topics rewards program, it's kind of like Kohl's where if you every like $30 you spend, you get one of these little hot cash coupons. So this is um, $15 off my next purchase of $30, and I can use it from September 17th to September 27th. So it's a lot like cold cash, they give you a specific window to use it in, and you have to spend a certain amount to use it, get it, and then use it. But like 15 bucks off of, like if I wanted to buy the Superboy hoodie, which I think is about the same price, it would be like 45 with 15 off, the hoodie would only be like 30 bucks. So... They have an awesome rewards program and pretty cool geeky superhero -y stuff now. It's not just like for goths anymore. So they also had these really cool t-shirts and I got this one for $10 on clearance at Hot Topic in the store once and it's um, an Alex Ross Marvel uh, sublimation or die sub or you know all over print t-shirt however you want to call it. Um, so like this one's the same on the front and the back and you can see it's a nice a uh, shot of Cap in the center, you have, uh, you have Iron Man, you have Thor, Iron Man and Thor on like the bottom, you hide, there's Claw on here, it's like, why is he on here? There's another Cap, where is, what else is on? Uh, there's some people, I don't even know who they are, I think Wasp is on here, Hulk is on here, Namor is on here, Baron Zemo, what's on this side here? I can't see who that is. Oh, Baron Zemo, duh. Um, so yeah, so I love this shirt. I think it's so cool. It's a, it's um, these are men's shirts, but I just kind of like wear them as like oversized shirts um, with some skinny jeans. Not that you guys need to know how to style them, you guys. But <laughs> um, so yeah, this one was ten bucks on clearance. So I don't know if they have this one still. But then later, with my hot cash that I got from that purchase, <laughs> I bought another one because these all over print tees. I love them. I think they're just so cool looking. I don't know why. I think I'm a little crazy. I don't know if you guys would think they're as cool, but I love them. So this one is uh, Secret Wars, the new Secret Wars. So this one's different on both sides, which I really like. So on the front, you have uh, Steve Rogers' cap, you have like a lady Captain America, you have this guy whose name I can't remember, Thor, well, I think it's like Ultimate Thor and regular Thor, uh, you got Black Panther, all on the front, and on the back, there's a giant Miles Morales Spidey, oh yeah! And then you have Falcon Cap, and you got Hawkeye, or something like a dark Hawkeye, I don't know. Who else have we got down here? Somebody's down here, can't really see, they're upside down, their face is cut off. Oops. There's uh, the Lady Thor. So this shirt's really cool, you've got like the old school on the front, converging with like the old school, and the, the new school on the back, new school, converging, haha, <laughs> that's a DC thing. But anyway, yeah, so this is the Secret Wars t-shirt, and since this one wasn't on clearance, it was like 25 or something, but then I bought this and like some cheap earrings with my cash, it was, it all came to like, uh, what was it, like $25 with earrings or something. Anyway, so yeah, Hot Topic has some cool stuff. If you're looking for like apparel, uh, hats, hoodies, clothes, whatever, um, they're not just for goths anymore. So those are some things I picked up or got. Um, this this is something interesting. I don't know if anybody else would find it interesting, but I'm really excited to have this because um, I don't know how you guys store your accessories for your figures, if you have a lot of accessories, but previously I had been putting mine in just little Ziploc bags like this big um, and kind of throwing them everywhere. <laughs> so I had little Ziploc bags like in shoe boxes. I had them in like other boxes I had them like under my desk they ended up everywhere I couldn't find accessories that I was looking for or you know like I didn't have anywhere like to put them specifically but um I Todd um place Star Wars X-Wing and I don't know if anybody is familiar with that but it's um it's just a game and it has these little like plastic pieces that you, you play on the board with and um, he got a little like plastic storage case to put all of his X-Wing pieces in. And when he brought it home, I was like, oh, that looks really cool. That's like, that's like a good idea for accessories. So I picked one up and they look like this. They're these like clear plastic um, bins. They're flat. They're really flat so you can see like 
here's my finger, how tall it is. Um, and they have just these little like dividers in them. It was like five bucks at Home Depot, and I fit almost all of my accessories in this one bin. Um, the way it works is you flip it open, so it opens like this, and then I can't, I don't know if I can really show you, let me try here, uh, tilt it down a little bit, but um, these little, these, the rows that go across like this don't move, but then these pieces that are here, you can see, I don't know if you can see that I'm pulling it out like this one. Um, these come out, so you can have like some, this one's like two bins wide, this one's all the way across, and then these are all little squares. So you can move the little dividers, they look like this, and you plug these into the little holes, and um, you can make as big or small of a section you want as long as it's this long, uh, this following these rows, you know what I mean? Um, so, like, yeah, I have, like, all of my, my, um, like, guns in one bin, I have the rest, like, um, a whip and, like, boomerangs, things in here, I have, like, the light up, kind of, not light, like, energy blasts in one bin, um, I have extra heads all in one bin, um, I have, like, a little, I have pizza Spidey's pizza in here, I have an Adam, um, some hats, some Santa hats, I have all, um, Particular, some things I still have in baggies, like this is all of War Machine's pieces, all of the um, original Iron Man 2 War Machine pieces in one, all of Iron Fist's hands in one baggie, and then I put the baggies of hands all in the same bin. Um, I have like bows and arrows and swords all in one because they're kind of long. I have a bin full of um, unpainted like dollar store guns and uh, accessories like that all in one place. This is a briefcase that I got from a dollar store figure and it actually has paper money in it that I printed out. <laughs> I like that a lot. This is a sword that came with a figure that I bought just for the wings to use for the Red Robin custom but I feel like it'd be really cool as a Green Lantern sword. I feel like Kyle Rayner might use a construct like this so if I ever get a Kyle Rayner figure use that for him. Um, yeah and then I have like some really long ones back here. I have like Starman staff, um, long winter so soldier gun, um, symbiote pieces from my Marvel Select Venom, flashes like energy blasts, Thing, energy, not blast, but you know, beetles' wings. So, yeah, I mean, I'm loving this. It's so much more organized, um, and what you can, and has a little handle so you can carry it. And the the dividers go all the way to the edge, so nothing spills out into each other. I got I pulled it directly like this, and it doesn't matter. Um, so for five bucks, hi, I'm back. For five bucks, what a great buy. Um, I. I'd like to find a similar container that um, ha doesn't have that um, that doesn't constrict the, the the width of the rows. If you know what I mean. Sorry, I'm like fixing it now as I'm talking to you. The uh, because I have some accessories that are because uh, like this is the length of the row. It's very short. So I have some accessories that need to go into a wider space, so I'd like to find a very similar bin, similar size and height and stuff, but that has like bigger areas that I can put stuff in, like my, um, the Marvel Select Venom, the back piece with all the extra heads and stuff, like that doesn't fit in here, um, so something like that, but otherwise, I love this, um, so I recommend it for sure, Home Depot, five bucks, they have some smaller versions too, and like, I know other places that have bins. Uh, Michael's had a very similar one. It was a couple of dollars more, I think, after, um, if you have a coupon, it's good. Hobby Lobby might have them. Um, Joanne Fabric and Crafts has some too. They actually had some on sale this week. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is a way better way to store accessories than little plastic baggies. Um, and yeah. So. That leads me to um, my next segment, <laughs> which is, I don't know, um, I'm almost done talking to you guys. This has been really long and I don't want to like keep talking forever, but I just wanted to end by telling you, I was recently cleaning my room or something and I came across a little like piece of paper and on this piece of paper said, had, was a list of things that I wanted to do for my YouTube channel. And I don't know how the list, I don't know where I found it, but wherever I found it, it had obviously not been touched in a long time. And I'm pretty sure I wrote it 
um, like as like a New Year resolution kind of list, and I only had like one thing crossed off, and I had nothing else on my list that I could cross off all these months later. They were things like um, filming comic related videos, like reviews and stuff like that, um, making like a schedule so that I'd have reviews coming out like the same day every week or like same days every week. Um, custom thumbnails on my videos. I did start that one at some point. I just didn't finish. Like I, I, I almost nailed down a design that I really liked, but then I was going to like go back to all of my old videos and make custom thumbnails for them, but I have like hundreds of videos. So I might just kind of try to do, um, like, from whenever I finalize my custom thumbnail design, I'll start putting it on my new videos and then maybe eventually go back and like a couple per day, just like change them. But um, yeah, so like, anyway, uh, I know I said like I was gonna film videos about reading comics. For instance, Saga. I read those first four volumes of Saga. I eventually did finish them, but I didn't get to film a video before I had to return them to the library. So then I was like, oh, well, I'll just, you know, pull up images from like, the internet I'll put them on my tablet but I just didn't get around to it because again I've been busy with doing um working with conflicts so I would still like to do that kind of stuff for you guys and the one that I feel the worst about okay <laughs> if you're still watching this video right now this is an opportunity for you um I filmed a video in what November I guess um for my two year YouTube anniversary I think or was it three years two years I think and I was going to do a QA. and a You guys gave me questions and I never posted it. Oh my god, it's almost November again. It's almost been a third year on YouTube. So I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry if you guys ask me a question. If you're still a subscriber and you still watch my videos, thank you for asking me that question. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry you don't have an answer. The reason is, I actually filmed that quite a few months ago. Uh, in, it was still late, but it was a reasonable amount of time um, after the <laughs> questions were given to me. I, it ends up, it was like a 40 something minute video, the whole thing was blurry, it was out of focus, and I was like, it was poorly lit, and like, because I didn't use my usual camera, that was a bad idea, so I didn't post it, and then I didn't refilm it, be, because I didn't want it to seem like, not genuine, and I, I don't know if I told you this before, maybe I have, but yeah, I didn't want to like, film it so quickly again, that I already said those answers and like now I was gonna say them again. So anyway, what I'm getting at here is I would, I really would like to film that Q&A for you guys again. But, if you're still watching this right now, please ask me new questions. Please. Um, I will answer all the questions from the old video. I'll find the video, I will write them down, and I will answer them. Um, but since I'm going to be doing it now, all these months later, and since, you know, I feel like so bad that I didn't do it for you guys, ask me more questions. If you have more questions, um, I would be happy to add some more to the video because it'll surprise me and it'll give you guys more insight to anything you're interested in. So I will film a Q&A soon. Um, ask me more questions if you like and if not I will answer all the ones from my past Q&A request video finally all these years later. Years later? Months later. So yes. Otherwise, um, yeah, I would still like to do the like what I've been reading and stuff but again I've been so busy that I haven't been reading much I read Saga I read uh, I've been reading like a few single issues of stuff here and there like I read um, what am I reading I was reading like the Renew Your Vows from you know Marvel from for Spider-Man but like I, and like I want to read like Battle World and like uh, Secret Wars and all that but I'm waiting till it ends to just read it all in one shot <sighs> um, DC I caught up on Batgirl to a point, but I'm still a few issues behind. I haven't read the annual. Um, there's so I started reading Midnighter. I started reading, but I just again, like I read like the first one or two issues. I read the first issue of March of Manhunter, um, but I'm still behind. I, I don't have a lot of time to read with the extra work that I've been doing. So, what am I saying? I don't know. I'd like to film these videos. Maybe I'll do the saga video still at some point. Um, but I need to just kind of take some notes because I really should take notes as I'm reading. That'd probably make it easier for me, but I didn't. So, oops. But yeah. So next step would be to do that Q and A. So 
next question. Next step after that is probably the custom thumbnails because I pretty much decided how I want them to look a while ago. I just need to put them into practice. So I'm actually, after I film this video I'm doing for you right now, I'm actually going to be doing some uh, reviews. So maybe for those reviews when I upload them, you'll see my new custom thumbnails. But other than that, I think that's pretty much everything, and this video is already absurdly long and you're probably not still watching it. So if you are, thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, I've missed kind of rambling to the camera. Uh, and if you aren't, you're not listening right now, so that's that. Um, I always try to keep these kind of shorter, but I had a lot to say being that I haven't been here recently. Here, as in like, on my channel talking to you, so. Um, I guess that's it now. So thank you again so much for watching, guys. Please ask me more questions or don't. I will answer the ones you already asked. Um, I'm going to say, like, I'll try to film that maybe this week or next week. That way it gives you guys some time to ask me more questions if you'd like. And in the meantime, I'm going to film some more reviews of the things things I've been showing you, like these sets and stuff. And um, in the future, I'll be... As far as what I will be picking up, it's going to be, you know, like the Rhino Wave, like I said, some figures from that. And then whenever, like, the DC Icons figures start coming out, definitely those. Um, Todd is still picking up the animated series figures. He's not picking up every single figure. I may have said in the past that he was going to, but he realized that there were way too many and that that's too much money. So whichever ones he does pick up, I'll review. Um, he's picked up a few other DC figures lately that I might review. Um... Yeah, so whatever, you know, whatever happens, um, but yeah, at least, I always draw out my ending, it's like, oh yeah, I'm done, but let me just say all these other words, I'm sorry, my lips are gonna be sealed soon. Thank you again so much for watching, guys, um, I hope you liked my pickups, I hope you are okay that I've been missing a little bit, um, but I'm gonna try to film up a lot of videos so that I can upload you know, on a decent little schedule. And yeah. <laughs> so thanks again, guys. Um, let me know what you think about some stuff. I know, you know, a lot of you are picking up these kind of sets too, so you're just telling me what you think by in your reviews. But do you like, like, the hoodies and shirts? You, how, do you, how do you organize your action figure accessories? Do you like my new method? Are you interested? Does it make you want to go buy a little plastic case if you don't already have one? Does it? Make, make me want to. Believe me, this makes me so happy. I mean, it's such a little thing, but to have all my accessories in one place, trust me, it's worth it. Five bucks. Can't go wrong. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I think I'm done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.